What is up everybody? It is T plus Rex. And Rex is in his cage and we're gonna be doing a deep clean because it's just that it's just that time of the week. Come on, buddy. And so we're gonna put Rex right there. Hopefully he does not move. Come on. Okay, he's gonna be crazy. Alright, we're gonna just put him in this cage because I don't want to chase himself in the glass like he is right now. Oh my goodness, Rex. So now he's in there. So what I do first is I don't have to clean this or this because he poops in his food bowl every day. So all I have to do for that is just leave it or uh, clean that. So I just cleaned that this morning so that doesn't have to get clean. This is already clean. So we'll take these and take them out and take them out. I will put new water in there for a so then next, we gotta take the complimentary cactus out of there. Make sure that's not in there while we're deep cleaning it. So we'll put that up there. This can stay in there because it's like, um, I don't even know what it is at the back of the wall. It's like that little blue stuff you put on like posters on your wall so that there's no holes. So next, what you do is you get your driftwood and this is all real wood, 100% real driftwood so then what you do is I'm not going to show you but you guys go into the bathroom fill up your bathtub full of water just drop these in there for like 10 five ten minutes and then after that you take them out let them air dry for a little bit probably 15 minutes and then you put them in the oven at 200 for another 20 minutes so since it's real wood that's what I do I don't know what you guys do for your fake wood we're gonna go get that started. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, he sees it, maybe. Oh. Nummy, 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 nummy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is since I had the cactus over here, it's a little bit dirty. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just roll these up. And where's my garbage? I'll just use this bag. So then I just grab his stuff and try to get as little of the dirt and whatnot from the cacti and the uh, logs on the yeah. So now you can see it is pretty dirty. So now what you do is you run and grab a vacuum and vacuum everything out. So my mixture that I use is a salt and or salt and vinegar water and vinegar solution um, I usually just spray this around if it wants to work and it does smell pretty bad but it cleans pretty well everybody uses something different I usually spray it on the bottom parts of his glass too because I do use like a Windex to clean this glass but I always clean it after I use it anyway so with a different product let that soak in for about 30 30 seconds to a minute okay it's been a minute so now we just get the uh, paper towels and just wipe it back and forth. I hate doing this because vinegar just smells so good in the morning. So delicious. It's delicious and nutritious. It's vinegar. Okay, once you get it all wiped around, I 
on the bottoms, everything. I throw that one out. And I'll bring in another one to dry it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now it's dry and stinky like vinegar. So now what I do after this step is I put everything down, I go over here, grab a fan. I grab this fan here. Looks like we're gonna have to bring the fan a little bit closer. Maybe have it turn around. Yeah, there we go. And we'll have that blow out. So then we'll have that blow out for the next little bit. In the meantime, while that is blowing out, I will grab my Windex for the outside clean of his tank. How are you doing in there, bud? Okay, and we are out of paper towels now, so I might have to go get more. Okay, so we're gonna move you out of the way, so no, no Windex goes into you, Mr. Rex. Okay. Perfect. Let that sit there for a minute. Alright, and then we do the other side, where the camera's at. This side is really dirty just because uh, I had a humidifier by it and it was spitting water on the glass. So. Now, when it's on the inside, if you guys can see this, I spray it onto the paper towel rather than all over the place. And then I wipe it. It's nice and shiny. And then again, we'll change the, or we'll clean the bottom again, just so it doesn't start licking the, licking the glass. So we'll do all around here, and then once we're done with all around here, we'll take the fan out, and that should be good. I'll use this Fluker's Super Scrub, and uh, or for the wall, I guess. Bottom half of the wall. So. You usually let this stuff sit for a little while too. I usually just go until how high he can climb. So now after that, we uh, scrub this all down. And 
Let's move the whole tent. So now, that stuff actually does leave a nice finish on the bottom. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to try the magazine newspaper approach here. Turn this all upside down so that the crickets don't get under it too well. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So now I take it out, let it drip for a little bit. Holy shisa. So, the only thing that sucks about having some nice... Let me go turn the light on. Okay, I don't even know why. I didn't have light turned on in the first place. Okay, look at how nice and yellow that water is. Beautiful and yellow. It looks pretty yellow for me, at least. Only thing that sucks about having a nice big log... ...is this death row here. Death row, okay? So they all obviously got drowned out of the log. And for spot cleaning, I'll show you guys how to spot clean these too. Um, I only have to worry about spot cleaning that one sometimes, rarely, like once a week, because he always poops in his football, which I'm okay with, because I don't have to clean out the newspaper or paper towels, and I don't have to always clean this. So what he does is you'll poop right here. Just for example, he'll poop like right here. You get a regular toothbrush that you do not use. Make sure you do not use it. Um, you take the poop off of it. Not with the toothbrush. Just get like a paper towel. Swipe the poop off because their poop just comes off super easy. Unless something is wrong with them usually. Um, you get a toothbrush. Get it nice, nice and like wet. And then just go back and forth in that spot. I usually go around the area just a little bit. Then you throw it in the oven for 20 minutes to kill bacteria. Alright everybody, we are back and there's Rex after pooping in his cage his mini cage I have to clean that out and I clean it out a little bit already so we have the newspaper bottom which is new we put already those back in there now it sounds like that every time he moves so we're gonna grab the uh, log place this right where he likes it Right up back against there. And then we might have to move these for a minute. And we'll have to move you over there, Rex. Come on. No, don't go up there. Go in there. Okay, so the log for the most part is actually dry. So that's good. We'll put that. that and then we can move the water back over here we'll move the food huh we're always gonna have to ah okay there we go i found the right side now there we go now it fits fine had a hard time finding the right the right the right place all right rex come on you wanna get up here Go, go, go. There you go, now you can bask. All right. So now that's done. What else do we need to add? Oh yeah. Hey, what was that? Razor blade flying from this guy. Every time you're um, done doing a deep clean, always check the temps. Um, or like after a little bit. So cool side's fine. Warm side should be fine. Basking. X. Move for a second, bud. Basking's a little cold, but it'll warm up when it gets better. So, yeah. That's the deep clean. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, but we got 
everything clean. Glass is nice and shiny. Rex is happy. He's got a new bottom substrate, I guess you could call it. Mr. Cactus is happy. Drop a comment of a name of the cactus. We're gonna we need to name this cactus. And uh, yeah, look at this cute little guy. I'm probably gonna go to the store today. Oh no, I just messed up my camera. And um, get him some worms. I want to try worms on him. So silkworms, butterworms, whatever worms I find, hornworms, maybe I don't know. So yeah. Oopsies. This is T plus Rex. Make sure you guys do. Oh look, he's looking at you guys. Make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you guys do please share. That would be much appreciated. Uh, yeah, look at him. He, I, I had to give him a bath too because he stepped in all of his poop. I was like, come on, buddy. Oh, Beard of Dragons. Alright, anyways, this is T Plus Rex. Signing out.